tip number 17. Grid search CV taking too long? Try randomized search CV with a small number of iterations. Make sure to specify a distribution instead of a list of values for continuous parameters. Okay, let's take a look. So our setup is we've got a pipeline of count vectorizer and multinomial naive Bayes, which is a model. Just like we saw before, we can cross-validate the pipeline. These are different sets of features, by the way, so don't compare it to number 16, but this was 0 0.800. If we were gonna use plain vanilla grid search, it would try all possible combinations of all parameters. So let's pretend in this case, I wanted to try four values for MINDF, two values for lowercase, and ignore this for a second, let's pretend we wanted to try 10 different values for alpha, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, et cetera, all the way to one. So if we were using grid search, grid search would run cross-validation 80 times because four times two times, let's pretend 10, is 80. Now, it's five-fold cross-validation, so the model fitting would run 400 times. And if it's a slow-to-fit model, which is not the case here, but let's pretend if it was a slow-to-fit model, grid search might run way too slow. So what do we do instead? Well, let's try randomize search CV. You tell it how many times you want to run, 10 in this case, and it will pick out random combinations of the parameters and try those 10 times. And it did indeed find a better score than above, just a bit. At this point, you might be thinking, this is weird. Why don't I try all the combinations? Why would I wanna do a random search? Like that seems suboptimal. Well, here are two things I love about randomized search. Number one, you control the computational budget explicitly. So let's say you ran randomized search CV and put n iter equals one, and it was a slow model, so it took a whole minute to run one iteration of five-fold cross-validation. That is super useful information because then let's say you are going to lunch and you know you'll be back in 30 minutes and you wanna tune your model while you're away from your desk. You can just set n iter equals 30 and you'll know that when you get back from lunch, it will have tried 30 combinations and it'll be finishing right when you're getting back. Grid search, on the other hand, it's very difficult and it's really not worth your time to try to figure out how to make it run the exact amount of time you have. And I know that sounds trivial, but it's really convenient sometimes not to say like, okay, I'm gonna run my grid search. Should I come back to my computer in five minutes or five hours? What you do is you run it once with randomized search and then you decide, okay, how many combinations do I wanna try? Okay, so that's one reason I love randomized search. Here is the second reason. Sometimes the optimal parameters are in between the evenly spaced grid that you might choose. So this is exactly why we specified a distribution for the only continuous parameter, which is this alpha value. So for example, if you were tuning alpha with grid search, you might specify 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1.0 for alpha. But what if the optimal value was at 0.4? Grid search will have no chance at finding that 0.4 value, but randomized search at least has a chance to find that value since you're specifying a distribution. Now, in this case, we specified a uniform distribution from zero to one, and the best value it found in this case was 0.198. Final note, it can be a bit tricky to figure out how to use SciPy to specify these distributions. If you can't figure out how to do it this way, you could just use np.linspace or np.logspace to create a big list of values to try within a range.